Hi Scorpio, this is Shah from Charlie's Angel Tarot and this is your romance reading for October 2020 and the readings have really been magical. I hope yours is going to be as magical as well and please like and share and if you've just uh, landed on this channel, welcome to this channel and please sub and hit the bell on all and set your YouTube settings. Uh, to give permission and also in your mobile device. If you don't know how to do that then there is a little video on the weeklies in the back screen on how to get notified and set your settings. I'm using the transparent tarot again and the tarot of the kingdom and TLC for the soul and answers of the, for the, of the angels. We start off with the Queen of Pentacles, so you might be meeting a Virgo uh, or you might be hooked up with a Virgo, a man or a woman. If it is an, uh, if you are a woman and you're um, hooked up with a man, then he's a very nurturing, caring soul as um, his feminine side. We all have feminine and masculine, but his, he's got a nurturing la nature like a mother has and he, there could be an offer from this person. And then the, we go to the card and you have the Wheel of Fortune and you can see them going round and round in circles. Perhaps you have been going round and round in circles but we do uh, have a, a more harmonious and peaceful energy this month in Libra. There is also a video out there so have a look what the Libra energy means. There's also two full moons on the 1st and the 31st and so when there's two moons there will be a blue moon and magical things will happen when there is a blue moon. Okay, what goes round comes round. What goes up must come down. This is also my karma card. So if you've been good, then you'll get it back threefold. The same with mm, have you been negative. Okay, if somebody has been negative to you they're in the relationship or anybody around you, they will get their karma too. Now in Libra uh, reading, uh, there was play your cards close to your chest. Yes, don't tell everybody everything, okay? Okay, but then they can't hurt you, okay? So protect yourself and your partner, your relationship always, okay? That is good karma to protect yourself and your partner, the person that you love. You might take your relationship up a notch to the next level. If you're going out you might become engaged. If you are engaged you might get married or you might even move in together as the Wheel of Fortune also means moving home. Or you might be buying a home together. This also means traveling holidays. So it could be a honeymoon or you could be going on uh, a holiday together. Beautiful. So you're going to get really intertwined with your partner. You are going to be one. There's no more beating around the bush or around the garden. You know the sun is shining on you. Look at that. Okay. I hope you can see it. The sun is shining on you. You might make an offer but I think you are going to receive an offer. You are going to join forces if you're not hooked up. Then we go to the next card which is the second week but it can happen. The energy can flow through the whole month. Uh, all the energies they could start right at the beginning and even go into November. Wow we've only got three, three months left before Christmas and you've got a three so there will be celebrations perhaps Christmas might have something to do with it because we've got three three of cups and that means celebrations so there could be celebrations now or right through the three months or at Christmas or New Year 
you might be celebrating with family and friends you might be because you're taking up a notch there could be celebrations because you're getting married or going to live together then we have the queen of air if you're not hooked up you could be meeting a queen of air this could be uh, a, a man as well because the cards aren't sexist and definitely it could be a lady if you're a man okay so um, this lady has her emotions under control but this could be a man that has his emotions under control but hasn't got the status of the king okay so he is very sensitive especially with these two moons so but there again this person um, the queen of um, the queen sorry this is a Libra the queen of uh, air the queen of swords is Libra so you might be meeting a Libra uh, a nurturing caring Libra because Libra stands for harmony and peace but they want things they need things to be clear uh, and when there is clarity then they can remain in balance they also stand for no BS okay if somebody is doing you wrong they will protect you through thin thick and thin they'll fight till the death for you to protect you and to love you they love you implicitly okay but it could also be a Gemini or an Aquarian but you'll be celebrating something will become clear to you there won't be any BS around you you are the center point okay you are celebrating with family and friends you are right in the center of the rainbow happy times are here again that's what I'm hearing <laughs> I don't know that's an old song da, 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 da. No, I forgot never mind I think you might have broken free from somebody with a habit because we've got the devil here that could be a drinking that could be uh, an addiction but I call it a bad habit it might be an addiction it m but I rather call it a bad habit this could be drink this could be drugs this could be coming late to work never arriving on time for going out or on appointments things like that or even being manipulative or bossy and they want it, want you to be their backbone I think you have broken free that's the karma that's the karma somebody that was bossy or manipulative you've broken free well done because you've got a new start this is a new start the wheel of fortune an ending a cycle ending and you're getting an offer from somebody this could be um, a, a, a a Virgo as the Queen of Pentacles is Virgo then you have the three of cups and you've got the Queen of air so that could be a Libra so this is a very important time perhaps Virgo was a very important time for you and then again you've got the ace of swords the ace of airs and look you've got a little baby a new beginning and this is the dandelion uh, seeds and when you you might have plucked a dandelion in um, September or in October and coming and you will be doing a wish and your wish is coming true because the ace of swords is victory perhaps your wish was to break free from pushy manipulative people or situations and you've joined up forces with your loved one if you aren't hooked up or your loved one has protected you and uh, helped you to break free from a bad habit or bad a bad group I get to hear uh, uh, you were influenced perhaps by a bad group and now you your your partner has helped you to break free and something has become very clear this could be also with legal procedures uh, perhaps there's two sides to this you, you if you're hooked up then 
it could be uh, something else like a park parking ticket or an in, um, inheritance to get things clear and you've got the victory so now you are celebrating and you can buy this new house wow Uh, the Queen of Air could be could have been your advocate or your lawyer and she cut straight through to the center and got you victory Wow big time perhaps now you can extend um, to the family and get married or if uh, if you are been living together or just being together like I said you're moving up to a next level you can um, get married and get started with getting a family. Perhaps somebody was tied down by a manipulative person and couldn't get free from uh, their uh, partner that they were married with and now they are. They've broken free. Okay. Perhaps it was you or your new partner and you right in the center again some a birth a new beginning they've broken you've broken free or they have broken free so now you can be together awesome you've been waiting for this freedom for a long long time in the fourth week we have the page the page of pentacles and the page of pentacles is capricorn but don't exclude virgo or taurus they will be bringing you news about money perhaps damage claims okay perhaps if you're going through a div if one of you are going through a divorce if you are going through a divorce then money is going to come to you then you have the five of fire I think no this is the four of fire the four of ones so that is again celebrations in the tradition ta uh, the traditional tarot it means the marriage card so perhaps now you you can get married because you've broken free oh this is beautiful we've got marriage I started saying you've got marriage like celebrations coming full circle taking your relationship up to the next level now you've got the money to do it celebrations and this relationship will be built on a proper foundation okay or you might be buying that house now you've got the money like I said you might be buying a house moving away from an apartment to a house something bigger because you're expanding the family Wow, you are in the spotlight. You are really in the spotlight, Scorpio. Surrender. Surrender to all the good things and say goodbye to the negative energies and the old face. You are right at the top. You're in the spotlight. You're in the center here. You're in the center there. You are basically in the center all the time. You are being noticed. Wow absolutely amazing okay lift it all up and out of you that's the negative energy decide to no longer be the bearer of pain and separation unknowingly you've carried these long enough as an act of justification for the wrongdoings of others they're going to get their karma hold nothing back from this moment of release there is a bigger picture growth is taking root from the cracked seedling to be harvested out of dry soul soil give everything to the higher powers who are the light within all things they are the silent listeners to every thought and will direct you your every step in your time of greatest need and whenever you feel the most vulnerable ask them for spiritual union every word you think meets the endlessly empathic ears of your cosmic friends well you 
are in dead centre. You have been heard. Wow. Time to celebrate and trust. Don't ever give up the trust and faith that you have in the divine and the angels. Trust yourself and have faith in yourself. You are stronger than you think. Especially now, it's been proven because you've broken away and you can make a new start. Peace has returned. Love it. I hope you liked it too. Take care and please like and share. And have a great month. Ciao, ciao.